Welcome to the Latrobe Valley, Gunai Kurnai land and home to some of Australia's largest brown coal mines, Hazelwood, Yulorn and Loyang. Did you know they're licensed to cover a whopping 130 square kilometres of mineable land? As we decrease our use of coal and transition to renewable energy, you may wonder, what will happen to those great big brown coal mines? Well, in 2020, the Mine Land Rehabilitation Authority was formed to help transform these mines. And in this first part of four videos in our series, we'll get to the bottom of the most important questions. Like, whose job is it to rehabilitate these mines anyway? It's a great question. People are often confused about whether it's government, the council or the companies themselves who have the ultimate say, and it is complicated. So let's break it down. In the Latrobe Valley, three companies own the mines. Energy Australia owns Yulon, NG owns Hazelwood, AGL owns Loyang. Originally, these were all owned and operated by the State Electricity Commission, the SEC, a Victorian government organisation. In the 1990s, when each mine was sold to private companies, the responsibility to tidy up the land once the mining was finished, a process referred to as mine land rehabilitation, was also part of that deal. Each company owns the power station, the mine itself, and its surrounding land. So, what they do on their land is really up to them, provided they operate within the rules and laws set by their mining licence. This includes nominating what the land will be used for after mining ceases and rehabilitating it so that it will be suitable for those uses. Elsewhere, post-mine landing uses have included biodiversity and ecological conservation, agriculture, renewable power generation or other industrial and commercial uses, recreational or geotourism spaces, while considering traditional owner rights and values. Reinstating mines as though they've never been dug isn't always practical, so legislation states that once mining ceases, the mine operator needs to make the land safe, stable and sustainable. Defining exactly what a safe, stable and sustainable brown coal mine looks like, well, that's a discussion for another video entirely. This video is presented to you by the Mine Land Rehabilitation Authority. We believe an informed community is an empowered community, and that's why we've brought you this video series. If you'd like us to come and speak with your community group, or if you'd like to chat with us, visit mineland.vic.gov.au to join the conversation. The Mine Land Rehabilitation Authority acknowledges Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people as the traditional owners of the land, and acknowledges and pays respect to elders, past, present and emerging. The Mindland Rehabilitation Authority is an independent body who work with community, industry and government to oversee the rehabilitation of declared mine land to ensure safe, stable and sustainable post-mining landform transition in Victoria.